back out. Again, we're just out for a little wander first before we go on a camp. We just come to Lowe's Water, which is really nice. Look at it. We're trying to find a little beach to just have a little sit down on. We've got a picnic blanket. What's become of us? It's really early to go out into the hills yet. So we're just having a mooch. We're gunning for a ratch. It's nice here, like. Never been here. Let's see what we'll come against. Come on, just do it. No. This, this is what people want, entertainment, man. Oh, can I get my leg in? Come on, you can get your leg anyone? in. You can get your leg in. Hold, it, in. hold the two green handles. <laughs> That's what the green handles are for. No, can I get it in there? <laughs> Break this leg. I'm so sorry for just trying you in water. That would like be the best thing. Need to break it. Done. This is, the, this is where we just having a little couple of hours by the shore before we set off. We're going up. That's Melbrake. So we're going through the valley to the right of that, all the way through. The valley walk. Right, ready? Put your head through there. Oh. And you're on. Yeah. Me again. Just the fancy pants. <laughs> I don't like it. You can't beat a bit of bully. Couldn't care less. Give us the grass, he says. Give us the grass. And get on your way. Oh, come on. Turn round. Anyway, this is Mel Breck. We're not going up there. We're going to go like through the valley and round the back of Hencombe. Coombe. Look at the size of his nudges. <laughs> oh no, his lipstick suit. Right, that's it. He's disgraced himself. Right, so we've come from all the way along the bottom here. It's quite an easy walk, like. And then it forks left to go up Melbrek. That's that's the path up Melbrek. If you want it, you can either go left or right. That's the true summit on the right camped on that but that is so steep that, that path there it's a killer but the fork you come right it's like a non-descript path to start with but then it changes it's back to being a path and we'll go down here around the back of there uh, apparently it's at the back of it how are you feeling oh don't <laughs> I feel terrible she's got migraines Migraines, and I'm making a walk miles in the hot sun. Come up with me. You work. You don't have an easy ride. You work. 
Hey, I'll not have descent in the ranks for sure. Yeah, but anyway, we're going to find this river. We'll just follow the path down to the river, which is yeah, we can hear it. We can hear it. We can actually see it. It's just there. And then you just follow the path along the river. You cross over the river, and then you just crack on. But if you follow a map, you'll find it's easy enough. I'm saying that we're not there yet. But the whole walk's about three mile from the pub. We didn't park at the pub, we parked at the National Trust car park at Maggie's Bridge, which is free if you're a National Trust member. I think it's free anyway. Couldn't see any pay machine. So if you come to the path here, it's really boggy. This is summer and we're still going up, um, still going up the boots. So in the winter, or the, the wet season, I can imagine it being really horrible. You probably have to walk over here. Anyway, we're making good progress. We're about to cross the river of Terra. for miles man through bogs of hell we've come out at this town find out the name of that later there's somebody over there that's you gives a wave Boosh. fluting town flouten or fluting locals call it fluting that good yeah I'm going to find a pitch that's not boggy now. This is going to be a canny trick. Come back. So we've come right from along there. It's all boggy as hell. A little bit, but we'll decide on this. This bit's flat enough. Let's put the driest bit. It's all right. I've got the back to the wind. There's a lad over there pitching. Can't see him later on, like. Trude. Can we remember the name of that hill? I can it. Let's see. Let's see if we can remember what it's called. Great Bourne, that's it. Great Bourne. If we got here earlier, I probably would have went up. But it's uh, it's now like it's ten past eight. <laughs> We've just got here. Leanne's not feeling too good. And I dragged her all the way up here. So I'm the I'm the villain. I'm the villain of this piece. Alright, we're gonna get our stuff sorted out and then just chill out. Oh dear. Well we're getting damp patches on the tent because look at that, look at the colour. Great bone. The sun's gone down and the temperature has just drastically dropped. This is what brings the condensation when the temperature goes down like this. It's been so hot today, but now out of the sun it's freezing. So that sudden temperature drop causes chaos, condensation, no matter what the tent. That's so airy and the, the wind just blowing through it, but it's still getting condensation. Just been over there chatting to the lad over there, so hello Dave or oh, Kit Kat. <laughs> Kit Kat. Nice lad. He's doing some uh, he's doing a overnighter. And he's doing some more walking tomorrow. His daughter's doing the Duke of Edinburgh. Well, that's all good. But yeah, God, oh, it's freezing. Show the beers. Got some good ones this time. Even sharks need water. Eating mess. Looper, which I'm gonna have next. My may the buck be with you. What the hell that mean? And a ten dollar shake. Oh Jake head, that's a great, that's a really, really nice beer. Lad. Oh, it's freezing. 
just don't have any shots. Yep, so another beer on. Just didn't get out this wind. It's a little bit of a breeze coming through. It's good because the breeze keeping the midges off us. So that's a good thing. It's not too wild. It's not as bad as it was last week. Or the week before. Lovely. Here we're gone. We're off. It's I nearly swore there. It's five past ten at night. I'm on Jake Head. We're having steak. A couple of steak, rumps, nice big rumps. Yeah, Aldi. Two. Two double double pack, right? So that was in one pack. That's the other pack. What was it? Eight quid? Six quid or something. Cheapest chips anyway. And it's got peppercorn butter. I'll so chuck that in when they're, uh, when they're getting done. Right. Good. Good crack. Two there to have. I've got some... Um, I've got some tomato ooze in it. Pick a little tomato ooze. Chuck a few of them in. And... In the bag of plenty. A bundles of asparagus and this and this. They don't take long. You break the you break the ends off the bottom. You break it. It's got a natural break point. You break. You don't cut it. You break it. Lob them in the pan. A couple of minutes. Done. Nice. Get, make sure that doesn't blow away. Right. So I eventually bought a pot grab. So I don't have to be like burning my hands all the time. Mint that like. Try and do one. Flip that. Yeah, that's it. Let us cook. Oh, come back. A few tomatoes. A few tomatoes into the mix. I put the peppercorn butter in, but it doesn't seem to make any difference. It just dissolved and vanished. Nice. Here we go then. Asparagus. Steak all chopped up. Easy to pick out. Peppercorn butter. It's lovely. And the tomatoes. The piccolo tomatoes. How is it? Lush. What's your sparagus like? I think I may a little bit overdone that like. Might overcook that. Mmm. Yeah, that's got a crunch that. Nice. Very Tomatoes nice. Are lovely. Real food. Proper food. You know you can do this in the house. But why would you? When you've got all this out here. Oh, there's somebody over there. There's a head torch over there. Is there? Mm -hmm. Another person. Proper shining off the tarn as well. Mad. Everybody's welcome. They're all welcome. As long as you have whiskey. <laughs> right. I'm going to eat this and then just chill out. Morning campers. It is 8.30. We've been awake for about an hour, like, just can't be bothered to get up. Terrific condensation. What was it? Condensation. Terrible condensation through the night because of the temperature drop. Oh, it's bad. So even the most ventilated of top tents gets it. No rain, this is all just condensation. Ground's wet as well. And a little bit of mist on the top of there. By a cloud, low cloud. Dave's over there just packing away. There was another lad came through the night, walked along there with a head torch and he pitched up there and he's gone really early, he must be on a mission probably ticking rain rights off alright, so I've got to get the kettle on if I can find it we had a slack night last night, like, didn't even drink half of these with Elsie's migraine <laughs> Elsie, can I get beaten up? 
Right, let me get the kettle on. Right, we're off. We've packed up. It's only, what is it, 10 o'clock or something? something like we just don't rush us like when we go out. It's so nice. We're letting the tent dry off as well. So we've left just a bit of flat grass here. Now it's cooking here. You'll notice there's no burnt grass this time. I had the little round silver mat out. And that's it. Dave's gone from over there. Just a draw. Leanne's feeling lots better. She just might be on camera now. And this is called Fluting Top. I don't think that's the way in right. I thought coming up we had to go up there, but we didn't, luckily. Couldn't be asked. So we're gonna head back along this path, up to the fence with back to the stile, and then go back the way we came, through the bogs. Right, we're off then. Let's do this. So if there's anything interesting, we'll come back. If not, and we won't. Simple. Keep it simple. if you use running water. Still a little bit discoloured but it's nice, it's alright. Fresh, no taste, no flavour. And it's nice and refreshing, it's not too cold. It's just nice to wake you up. And we're just taking a little bridge break. Bridge of destiny. We've got about a mile left to go through that way. And then it's about half a mile to the car maybe because we've parked somewhere other than where we wanted to. So that's it. Had a good time. Mm -hmm. Apart from the last night. Yeah, I apart from that. Bless her. She had a migraine still trooped all the way up that bloody through all the bog and up the hill. Right. So I don't think there's anything else to film. We shall see you on the next one. A few moments later.